Uh, we are outside Mavericks nightclub in uh, the nation's capital of Ottawa. Carlo Leo joining us. Came in from Toronto. Uh, you've been busy. Uh, you were South America, now here, and then uh, New York or so. Is that what's yeah, up yeah. next? Last week was uh, from starting off in Calgary, ending off in uh, Colombia, and now uh, here we are in Ottawa. Did the whole triangle up and down, so... Uh, you've been playing a lot of late, which is great to see. You've been playing a lot in general. It, does it really kind of weigh in on you, or are you looking forward to it every weekend? Yeah, I mean, the the traveling is definitely hectic. I mean, I, nobody, I'm sure nobody loves getting on seven flights a week, but uh, it's definitely all worth it, and it's a small complaint for a huge reward. I wouldn't trade it for the world. A little trip up here to Ottawa from Toronto. Uh, how different is a venue like here to, say, Coda, which we sort of talked about, right. where you, you on New Year's Eve? Uh, like, in relation, compare the two? I mean, they both have that dark little grimy after hours look which I always love so I mean I feel just as comfortable here as I do at Coda. Now we met about eight years ago I've seen you play two three dozen times since then has there been major changes from eight years ago to now and even some crazy changes from say the start of the year to now? Uh, I, I'd hope so I mean as a DJ a producer you always have to evolve if you don't I think uh, there's a problem um, so yeah I mean every year I, I, I definitely strive to change uh, you'll always there'll always be a, a signature part of me in my sets or my productions but uh, the styles are always always changing always adapting now if you had a tip for uh, a, a new producer or so around organizing your life balance between music uh, producing, playing, and even you know where your files go on your computer. How do you how do you balance that? Yeah, I mean, I don't let one just take over the other. I mean, on the weekends, I'm you know a touring DJ. Seventy um, percent of the weeks where I'm home, like I really try to be to live my normal life and see my family, see my friends. You know, obviously there's going to be times where I'm producing and organizing stuff, but you really just got to find those those uh, those those fine lines between all of them and, and and hold them because it could easily overlap and you don't want to drown one out with the other. When I when we first met a couple times, you've been playing government in places very regularly. Right. Now you're all over the place. Right. Is there a little bit of a change for that for you or do you still feel comfortable pretty much anywhere you're behind a mixer and there's a crowd in front of you? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm always comfortable. I mean, I, am, I try to make the best out of every show, which I do, big or small. Uh, slammed or not so slammed um, yeah getting to tour I obviously I play a lot of clubs uh, every year at the same time so you know sometimes it can feel like a residency but you know it's some stuff I'm used to and always look forward to go back to so yeah I love it how important is the work that you do with like the radio and podcasting and so on it's the, does that still make a, a big difference for how you feel like everything fits into the world or is it maybe not as important anymore um, yeah I mean I'm always trying to do a lot of any any type of PR or press uh, I'm always I'm always consistent with uh, podcasts and interviews so I'll do as much as I can I mean any press is, is good press <laughs> uh, and I guess just to sort of wrap things up is there someone that you're really excited in hearing in the scene that's Canadian that's sort of making waves and it's about to sort of break through I guess I would say I really like uh, some of the stuff this guy uh, from Toronto is doing uh, have you heard of uh, Weska? Okay, well, he's, uh, he's really making some really awesome techno. He's released on Intech, Carl's label, uh, with Sion's label. So he's doing well. Uh, I, I guess with that, uh, we'll wrap things up. And uh, looking forward to your set tonight. Is there anything uh, that you're looking to sort of play and surprise the crowd with? Yeah, I mean, I got a lot of new productions that uh, I've been kind of put on the rotation the past, past month. So I'm sure you hear a lot of new stuff tonight. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Hey, this is Carl Leo, and you're listening to Amplified Radio Presents.